guys, it's DX. See, you never know who's gonna show up at NXT. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Are you ready? No! I said, are you ready? Theory confirmed. It's those same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these Indian faders may have gotten more than they bargained for.
I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the Authors of Pain, but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go.
Oh, no, now they're Finish in trouble. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Yeah, this is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders.
Hey, Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York, dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog, Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh, yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not-so-clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanction match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll never have to see these two losers again. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah. I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us, I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. Uh, people who... All right. Well, I'll keep thinking on it.
There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it! To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Cover here. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match. Here it is, the Dragon Sleeper! So resourceful. Ooh, what an there. uppercut! He's going for it all. A oh, big height, bigger impact. An easy kick out there. Way too early. He's looking at it. Gets to the ropes, forcing the break. Well, Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. Setting up. He's on the defensive here. He's gonna wanna make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! He's starting to stagger a bit, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Hey, you're gonna absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Harsh impact. That was nowhere near a three count. It's gonna take more than that. I right, trapped the leg into a... Oh, what a right hand! Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Oh, nasty impact. He might have it. Oh, and a DDT! I'm not sure how much he has left. He's playing with him now. Looking at it here. He's on his heat. Oof! There it is. He's got him covered. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Yeah, this early, no chance. Elbow drop. Piercing. He's getting erupted. Looking to lock it in here.
Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Oh, oh my gosh, surfboard leg breaker. Look out, look out. From out of nowhere. RKO! That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. Nailed it. Ooh! Uh -oh. What a clothesline! Ouch! Can he finish the job? Boom, what impact! Cover here! Two! He's not done fighting yet. Yeah, it's gonna take more than that to keep him down. Twist of fate! But he's running on few shoulders on the mat. One, two, three! Yes! Unreal performance. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Every single minute of this one was memorable. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade. The owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere and the moment they informed me baron was the masked man that attacked you i could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces you know it took a bit of convincing to get baron to do the match i told him that i'd keep his secret but i was going to expose him either way so take your stuff take your little buddy here and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives oh wait there's one more thing you might want to know 
I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks, and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable.